So oftentimes I get asked about what are the very best foods that men can consume to max out their testosterone levels. And so in this video, what I'm going to do is look at what I would consider the golden criteria for what makes a food a very powerful agent to boost testosterone levels. So if you're brand new to this channel, please subscribe and please like this video as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. So first of all, what I want to do is go through what I would consider the golden criteria for the best food to boost testosterone levels. And I'll go through what I would consider the criteria that I would use to critique a food, whether or not it is beneficial for testosterone or detrimental. The first consideration that we must factor in is whether or not the food contains bioavailable nutrients. So our food must meet this particular criteria that it contains highly bioavailable nutrients. Now that term bioavailable basically reflects how easily it is for the body to break down, assimilate and utilize that those nutrients and put it to good use within the body. Second, we're looking for a food that potentially contains peptides and growth factors that enhance any aspect of the testosterone signaling and conversion pathways. So a good example here is a particular nutrient that can upregulate the enzymes uh, responsible for converting pregnenolone into you know, progesterone and downstream eventually into testosterone. So that's another consideration there. The third point is that it must contain testicular protective properties. So what I mean by this is that it must contain specific antioxidants that can protect the testes from oxidative stress and potentially even microplastics and uh, xenoestrogens in the body. Fourth is sort of tying into uh, point number one is that it should not contain any major anti-nutrients. So a good example of this is spinach. Although spinach is rich in nitrates to actually support nitric oxide production, unfortunately spinach contains a lot of oxalates and these oxalates can actually strip the body of essential nutrients. And that is what we would consider a food that is rich in anti-nutrients. And then lastly, we're potentially looking for a food that can support overall metabolic health. So things like polyphenols and other antioxidants and flavonoids that would improve and enhance circulation in the body or blood flow. So the very first food that I would suggest to boost testosterone is royal jelly. Royal jelly is a very powerful nutrient rich superfood that has some pretty impressive research in humans to actually support testosterone production. We can see here, this study was titled effect of royal jelly ingestion for six months on healthy volunteers. And what they noted was that six month ingestion of royal jelly in humans improved erythropoiesis, which is the formation of new red blood cells, glucose tolerance, and mental health. Now, acceleration of conversion from DHEAS into testosterone by royal jelly may have been observed among these favorable effects. So we can see here that royal jelly was a food source that was shown to accelerate the conversion of DHEAS into testosterone in healthy humans. The next food that I would consider a powerhouse to boost testosterone levels is actually chicken hearts. Now, this does not need to be consumed raw. I personally consume chicken hearts by cooking them in either extra virgin olive oil, uh, tallow, or sometimes even grass-fed butter, which tastes absolutely amazing. But we can see here, if we look at the nutrient breakdown and we look at the micronutrient breakdown as well, we can see the vitamins present in chicken hearts. We can see that they're very rich in vitamin B12, quite abundant in vitamin B2, and also quite rich in vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid. Now, all of these vitamins are conducive for better metabolic health, improving energy levels and overall vitality. But the key Key point that I really want to highlight here is the amount of cholesterol present in chicken hearts, We're looking at about 242 milligrams, which acts as a precursor to actually build out as a serving as a, a basis to build out the sex hormones. And then if we have a look at the minerals present in chicken hearts, we can see that chicken hearts are a very good source of zinc, iron, and copper. So we're seeing a very nice balance between zinc, iron, and copper, of which are highly bioavailable because it's coming from an animal-based, uh, you know, it's animal-based and not plant-based. So there's no anti-nutrients present in chicken hearts. So we're looking at a serving of around 100 to 200 grams per serving. It is quite a generous serving, but if we do this about two times a week, I think this would be a very powerful 
food-based intervention to max out testosterone levels. The next food on my list is actually a particular pepper known as grains of paradise or aframomum meleguta. Now, this particular pepper is something that I've mentioned before in the past as a fat burning uh, particular pepper that can improve um, fat loss and other parameters of metabolic health. But we can see this study here was titled effects of the aqueous extract of dry seeds of aframomum meleguta on some parameters of the reproductive function of mature male rats. And what they noted was that results showed a significant increase in testosterone in the serum and testes, cholesterol in testes, alpha glucosidase in the epididymis and fructose in the seminal vesicle after eight days of treatment with this particular pepper. Results showed that levels of cholesterol in the testes, alpha glucosidase in the epididymis and fructose in seminal vesicle increased by 93.3%, 84.44%, and 62.78% respectively after 55 days of treatment. So the way I look at this is we have some impressive rodent studies that demonstrate beneficial effects on testosterone production. We have other spices and flavors out there that we can add to our food to improve the overall taste. But the way I look at it is that this is a specific pepper that men can sprinkle on their food if they enjoy pepper as an added boost to support their hormonal parameters. Obviously, this is not a human study, although based upon the traditional usage of this particular pepper and the rodent study here that we can see, this, this rat male rat study, in my opinion, I think this is going to be highly beneficial for you know improving overall hormonal signaling and production. Food number four is actually honey. Now, honey, I've mentioned before in a previous video, but honey has been shown to contain specific flavonoids and polyphenols that can potentially support luteinizing hormone production. Now, luteinizing hormone is one of the important precursors to actually stimulate testosterone production in the Leydig cells of the testes. So we can see that, you know, honey containing a flavonoid such as chrysin, quercetin, caffeic acid, allergic acid, rosmarinic acid. These are basically very powerful flavonoids that can support overall testicular function and also act as potent antioxidants against, I guess, very powerful oxidative stress that can damage the testes. So this is one of the other foods that I would consider highly beneficial for men if they're looking for a good carbohydrate source to max out their testosterone levels. Now, this next study here was looking at egg consumption. So food number five is whole eggs, not just egg whites. Specifically, we're looking at whole egg consumption. Now, this study was titled Whole Egg vs. Egg White Ingestion During 12 weeks of resistance training in trained young males, a randomized controlled trial. Now, what they noted here in this study was that post-exercise whole egg ingestion increases knee extension and hand grip strength, testosterone, and reduces body fat percentage compared with post-exercise egg white ingestion, despite no group differences in muscle mass in resistance trained young males. And what they noted was that whole eggs consumption may be a preferable source during resistance training programs geared towards the improvement of muscular strength and body fat. So this is really interesting. We're seeing the differences between using egg whites versus using or consuming the egg the whole egg itself, including the yolk, really reinforces the importance of actually consuming the yolk as part of a you know, dietary strategy to improve testosterone signaling. And if you look at it from a nutrient perspective, the egg yolk does contain some specific vitamins that are not present in the white and obviously contains the cholesterol component that the egg white lacks itself. So I would say eggs or particularly whole egg consumption is a very useful food for men to improve overall body composition and also hormonal health, specifically looking at boosting testosterone. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about some of my other approaches to max out hormonal health, and improve overall energy levels and vitality. Do check out the Limitless program, which I just developed. This is geared towards men looking to boost their motivation, confidence, and energy levels. And it's a group coaching setting with myself where we can do some Q and A's and you can get involved as part of my inner circle to really max out your overall health and performance. So do check out the Limitless program down below if you want to learn more about some of the other biohacks that I've included and 
considered over the years to really be effective and safe strategies to improve human health. Thanks for tuning in guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.